and here we are. This is Sex Love Psychedelics, and I'm your host, Dr. Kat, bringing you psychosexual conversations that will leave you intellectually turned on and hungry for more. I know this isn't an audience question, but I'm asking it anyway, I guess you, you bring up... Um, you know, you may not be ready for the information all the time. And that, that really makes sense. Like we can't just bomb, but I've totally told some, you know, asked a question of somebody and they just, they woke up from a nap. They were not, <laughs> they were not resourced to be able to do that. I'm like, I'm sorry. You asked me how I was doing. <laughs> you asked me how I was feeling. Um, so it's like, uh, you know, making proper time to have those, con- oh, using the, qu- the word again, containment or a container. <laughs> Everything is containers. Yeah. So how would you suggest somebody, you know, what would help somebody to create contain to containment, or maybe you want to expand that concept around what you just said. I'm not always ready to receive information. Mm-hmm. So one of the conversations that I really encourage everyone even monogamous couples to have. Well, I mean, although it looks a little bit different for them, um, but is to, to have some sort of regular like relationship meeting Mm -hmm. and like people use all kinds of different language for this. Um, the, the people over at multi Amory have a great format for it that they call radar, but that can be monthly, that can be bi-weekly, that can be weekly, something where you and your partner are sitting down and going like, how's this working for us? Right? And like one of the formats that, that my partner, the partner that I live with, and I have, have used at different times that has been really supportive is coming to the table with, here's what's going really well for me in our connection. Here's what I'd like to shift a little bit or keep working on. Here's something that like maybe is feeling a little bit sticky. Um, And then checking in about like, are there updates on other relationships that we feel we need to share right now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's not the format exactly for everyone, but it's a, it's, it's a good starting point, right? It's saying like, we need to have a point of connection that feels good in order to resource for maybe something that feels more challenging. Mm -hmm. And all of that is kind of reinforcing our particular relationship. Mm -hmm. So we have that security as we move into talking about other relationships. Yeah. yeah. But having that, um, having whatever rhythm works for you, whatever format works for you, Mm -hmm. having it be somewhat regular so that, you know, when things pop up in the moment, and you want to just kind of like get into them, it's easier to set them down when you know, like when and where you're going to revisit it. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. yeah, just being able to put it somewhere temporarily and knowing that that conversation is going to happen again, gives a little bit more calm, especially if you have an anxious attachment style. It's like, if we don't know when that conversation is going to happen, we're going to keep kind of like hammering on it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can also, everyone can down regulate before you go into the conversation. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) I mean, and I also think even it's like, I think about the concept of responsive desire, even Mm -hmm. of like, we need to be safe enough for our desire to really come online. Mm -hmm. And, and one of one of the things that I love about the practice of scheduling sex for most people who work with responsive desire is that having that regularity or having that knowing like it's on the calendar, even if it's not a very conscious process, allows the body to prepare for it differently. Mm -hmm. The same thing with like relationship check-ins, where if you have that somewhat in a rhythm, your system starts to figure out how to prepare for it Mm-hmm. starts to help you kind of discern more in your day-to-day. Like, is this something that actually is like emergency status that needs my attention right now? Or is this something that I can just like kind of put a pin in or like write myself a note on my phone of like revisit this on Tuesday evening? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. So responsive desire as opposed to spontaneous Mm -hmm. desire. Yeah. 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 Amazing. This was so good. I loved chatting with you and diving in. I love this topic. I could go forever. <laughs> I just seem so excited. Um, how can people find you? Where they where can they get the book? Yeah, I'm on Instagram, Irene underscore morning. Um, you can get the book through my website, irenemorning.com, um, or also on Amazon. Just put in polyamory paradox and it pops right up. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming. that was fun thanks for tuning in lovers and if you want to experience more ecstasy and sexual liberation head over to sexlovepsychedelics.com and learn about how you can join me for any one of my online or live events and while you're there grab my free guide on sex and psychedelics remember this podcast is for entertainment and educational purposes only Please contact your healthcare provider and local law before pursuing any of the products or psychedelics discussed. And one final note here, I make this show specifically for you. If you're loving the show, then be sure to leave me a review in iTunes or Spotify to let me know. Happy to be here and happy to serve. I'll see you next time on Sex Love Psychedelics.